question I keep getting asked is how much money can I earn as a HGV driver? So let's answer that question. There's quite a few things that will affect how much money you can earn as a HGV driver. The biggest one is probably what type of license you have, whether it's a Cat C or a C plus E, or even a C1, a seven and a half ton license. Another thing that factors into how much money you can earn is the type of work you do. You may work on a pallet network or in general haulage. You may do bulk tipper work or walking floors or high ab work. There's such a variety of things that you can do with extra training that are required or skills that you need to learn that are a specialist thing that mean you are paid a little bit more for your skills. Another factor which will have a massive impact on pay is your area that you're looking for work. If you're in an area with a high demand for HGV drivers, then the wages are probably going to be a fair bit higher than somewhere where there isn't that demand. The next thing that affects your pay and is probably, in my opinion, the thing that affects it the most is how you're paid. If you're paid a day rate or if you're paid hourly, if you get paid overtime, if you get paid a bonus or a food allowance, how much you get paid for nights out, if you do nights out at all. Do you get extra money for working on a Saturday or a bank holiday? All of these things really can affect how much money it is that you earn. I have done a little bit of internet research and done a few searches for jobs around the country in various different places. And I have seen jobs at 30, 32,000 pounds a year. And I have seen them as high as 60,000 pounds a year. And yeah, all of those things that I've mentioned factor into why those people are offering those salaries for the work that they're wanting you to do. Now, I can already predict the comments. 32,000 pounds a year, I wouldn't get out of bed for that. But what you've got to remember with 32,000 pounds a year is to some people, that's an awful lot of money. And that's my views on all of it really is if you need a hundred pounds to cover everything that you need it to cover and that's what you earn then a hundred pounds is the money that you earn if you only need 90 pounds to cover what it is that you need it to cover and you're earning a hundred pounds then a hundred pounds is really good money on the flip side though if you need 110 pounds to cover what it is you need it to cover and you only earn a hundred pounds then you're not on good money. It is all relative. It's all based on your individual circumstances. The thing with the people that are gonna comment, oh, I wouldn't get out of bed for that, oh, I wouldn't do that, not wouldn't catch me doing that job. They're either doing a job that's a specialist skill that requires an extra aspect to their job, a high ab license or ADR for tankers, or they're lying about how much they're earning. On the whole, I think HGV driver wages are okay. I mean, I can't think of another job where for £3,000 worth of instruction, tests and tuition, you can go away and earn 40, 50, 60,000 pounds for this just driving yes you may have some other things that you've got to do as i've mentioned before high ab work or fuel tanker work which require those extra skills but the vast majority of the job is this and looking out the window at the world going by and when you think nurses and teachers and doctors aren't getting paid anywhere near as much money as what we do and I've probably got a more stressful job except for Friday afternoon on the M25 then yeah 
why would you not want to do this and earn this much money? Put it this way, I used to be a retail store manager. I had over 100 members of staff who reported to me. I worked in a shop that took over 10 million pounds a year, was operational for 18 to 20 hours a day, and I earned 26,000 pounds a year. Doing this, I've near enough doubled my salary. Yeah, I typically work 65 to 70 hours a week and do three, four nights out a week, but it's worth it. So as I said at the beginning of the video, there are a lot of factors that can affect how much money it is that you actually can earn as a HGV driver. But hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an idea as to what it is to look out for when it comes to what salary it is that you can expect to get. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. It's a little bit different to some of the videos that I normally make. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments and I shall catch you guys in the next one.